are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, I must say, guys, it is nice to see that there are some NFL teams out there that refuse to bend the knee. Now, this is uh, day four of quote unquote Pride Month. Why do we actually have a whole entire month just because a guy probably wants to um, kiss another guy? Doesn't make sense to me, okay? Doesn't make sense. Now, as a black person, man, we get one month, the shortest month of the year. But I must say that uh, Black History Month doesn't really get the media attention like Pride Month. And these pride parades, man, there are some pretty disgusting things that actually go on during these pride parades. Men walking around completely naked, riding around on bicycles. Yes, that's a real thing. What does that actually have to do with pride? And they're doing this stuff in front of children, man. But if you don't actually agree with that, then you are a bigot. You are a homophobe. But still, you got teams out there. That's how you know what? Let's virtue signal. Let's go and virtue signal. Remember, even the NFL said that um, football is for everyone. Yeah, it's for everyone. Nobody was stopping anybody in the alphabet community from enjoying a football game. Nobody said you can play football. You can watch football. That was never the case. But the virtue signaling is real, guys. Now, you had, I believe, some like um, 21 NFL teams acknowledge Alphabet Mafia Month. 21. However, there's 32 NFL teams and not every single team was on board with this. And the teams that were actually uh, making these posts on social media like X, they were getting destroyed. I mean, the Washington Redskins change their logo, the avatar, to the rainbow. It's like a W with um rainbow letters, man. Pretty pretty pathetic, man. The, these teams, man, they want a virtue signal. Now, let's get into the teams that did not do this. Now, it shouldn't be a surprise, you know, that um Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys, nah, nah, they're not doing that. Now, Jerry Jones, man, I don't think you're ever going to see Jerry Jones and the Cowboys do something like that. Because remember, even when it came to kneeling, man, Jerry Jones was animate. You will not kneel. And if you do, you're done. Remember uh, Datari Poe? He was actually cut really because um, he was fat and out of shape. He knelt for the National Anthem. He was the only Cowboys player ever since um, this kneeling thing started. That actually knelt. I believe it happened for like two games and then he was done. And no Dallas Cowboys player has knelt. Well, let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Check this out. 11 NFL teams so far. Decline to bow to Pride Month messaging. Yeah. So what's the point, man? Football is already for everyone. That's that's just the way it is. If you're gay, lesbian, whatever, straight, you can actually watch the NFL. Nobody was stopping you. But this virtue signaling, man, has gotten really, really out of control, man. These pride parades have become um, so extremely graphic I remember uh, last year, man, I was actually wanting to um, make some videos and some of the clips I couldn't show because we're talking about nudity, man. Nudity. Or I actually had to do hardcore um, editing. I remember one where this woman actually didn't have a top on. I I did my best to blur that out. That's what it's gotten to, man. That is what it has gotten to, man. And they're doing this in front of kids. Says here. The calendar flipped to June over the weekend, and in case you missed it, that makes it Pride Month on television and radio, in your stores, everywhere on the Internet, on your streets, up your flagpoles, in your classrooms, like it or not. 
and at least one other place throughout most of the NFL. Now, it's pretty disturbing, man, where the U.S. flag has become uh, controversial. You know, Colin Kaepernick wanted to uh, kneel for the national anthem. You also see in these uh, pride flags in schools. But if it's the U.S. flag, oh, no, we can't have that. That's a problem then. They consider that to be divisive. But if you don't approve of uh, the alphabet alphabet flag, oh, then you're a bigot. Well, it goes on here. It says the practice of sleeping, of men sleeping with men, women sleeping with women, and some men becoming women, and some women becoming men, with the folks who they say are now neither men nor women, also included, was celebrated by about two-thirds of the NFL's teams on Saturday via social media. They cannot wait, guys, for that clock to strike midnight to start virtue signaling in June. Man, pathetic. Look here. (laughs) Oh, this is actually... um. What is this uh, picture from? This actually says um, football is love. But uh, this is from February 7th of 2024. Football is love. OK, love for the game. But that has nothing to do with um a man wanting to get it on with another man. I mean, you got guys like, you know, there was actually this one guy on video in a truck spanking another guy in a dominatrix kind of way. In front of kids. Pretty disgusting, man. <laughs> Said the message delivered on it via um, team timelines was sent by 21 of the NFL's 32 teams to their approximate 42 million total viewers. Some teams tweeted out their support that Pride Month has arrived. Some delivered expanded messages as part of that support. The Washington Commanders, better known as the Redskins. For example, said Pride Month is actually about love. Really? It seems to be more about nudity to me. And some teams sent tweets and went the extra step by altering their logos or at spanners. The Redskins, Buffalo Bills and Philadelphia Eagles changed the color of their logos to match the pride flag. Yeah, they did that. But on the flip side, guys. Right here. 11 NFL teams do not participate. Yeah. Probably because the owners are pretty base. The Pittsburgh Steelers didn't do it. Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals, Tennessee Titans, Kansas City Chiefs, uh, Denver Broncos, Dallas Cowboys, Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, New Orleans Saints, and Atlanta Falcons. They have refused to bend the knee. And it doesn't seem like they're going to actually cave to the pressure, you know, especially, you know, four days in. I mean, guys, if you actually need to feel better about yourself just because you see a team change that logo to a pride logo, that's pretty pathetic, man. I don't need the Dallas Cowboys to um, celebrate Black History Month to make me feel like I'm actually wanted. That's that's pretty pathetic, man. And I don't think the Cowboys have actually done that. And I'm referencing the Cowboys simply because I'm a Cowboys fan, even though we need to get things right on the field this season. But that's another story. So I digress. So what do you guys think of this here? What do you guys think of these teams here refusing to bend the knee? I salute them. I really, really do, man. I don't need you to celebrate my sexuality as a straight man. We don't need to celebrate anybody's sexuality. Go out there. And win games. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.